According to the UN Refugee Agency, more than 100,000 people crossed the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea last year, doubling the number from 2010. The refugees, mostly Ethiopians and Somalis, face drownings, physical and sexual assault, and other abuses as they flee to Yemen, a country also facing conflict and unrest. UN Radio's Diane Penn reports. The sea journey from Africa to Yemen is a treacherous one, but over 100,000 people were willing to take the risk. Last year, 130 people drowned in the process. Adrian Edwards is UNHCR spokesman in Geneva. Most of the new arrivals reach Yemen's shores in desperate condition, dehydrated, malnourished, often in shock. Those crossing the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden face extreme. Risks and challenges, pretty much every stage of the journey, in the countries of origin, during transit, and on and after arrival in Yemen. He says these already vulnerable people, mostly economic migrants from rural areas, encounter additional hardships once they reach land. In Yemen, they face difficulties in getting access to basic services,、uh, including shelter, water, food, emergency help, and so on. According to UNHCR, Ethiopians now account for 75 percent of arrivals. Previously, Somalis were in the majority. Somalis in Yemen automatically receive refugee status, thus facilitating their access to documentation. They also face relatively few restrictions moving around the country. But UNHCR reports the plight of Ethiopians is more precarious. They often are victims of robbery, abuse, and extortion perpetrated by smugglers. Adrian Edwards again. We are particularly alarmed by an incident earlier this week in which three Ethiopians were killed by smugglers operating along Yemen's Red Sea coast. According to the reports we've had, they were shot while trying to escape the smugglers who were trying to extort money. Meanwhile, Yemen is afflicted with problems of its own. UNHCR says many of the refugees are completely unaware of the ongoing civil unrest in the country, which has displaced more than 400,000 people. Human traffickers and smugglers have benefited from the situation, which has also hampered the operations of humanitarian teams to patrol Yemen's shores. That was UN Radio's Diane Penn.